you're no longer just a college student practicing your animation, illustration, and graphic design skills, but you're now a professional artist who needs the best tool around to do your work from home. And before, I reviewed the Huion Canvas 13, which was a very portable, amazing little drawing display that was better suited to students. And now I am reviewing the full-on Huion Canvas Pro 24. Now, this is what every professional artist should use in 2020. Let's dive in. For more great content like this, just make sure to subscribe to our channel and then turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any upload. Also leave a like and a comment down below with your thoughts on this video. Now, there's also going to be a merch store where you can buy some sweet monochrome Tech Summit merch. Links to everything down below. I would like to quickly let everyone know that Huion did send this out to me for review completely free of charge. But everything I say in this video will be my honest opinion based on my experiences with this screen. Let's just jump right in. Like always, let's go ahead and start off with an unboxing. So first off, we open up the box and pull the first box with the accessories out first. And inside you will find things like the stylus, VGA cable, USB-A cable for data, an HDMI cable, a power brick, and some screws with a screwdriver, etc. And then with all of your might, pull out the monitor and remove the protective foam. And then there it is and it's full glory. It's massive. You'll also come across the stand along the way and some instructions, gloves, etc. You already get the idea by this point. It is honestly pretty great unboxing. Now, the exterior design does consist of plastic, but this display is very well built. It's very heavy, it's very thick, but it's so sturdy as a result. And it feels like it was built like an absolute tank, which is exactly what you need when you spend $900 on a drawing display. And you also have a total of 20 remappable buttons and two sliders, which you can customize to your heart's content as well. We'll get to that soon, but the build is very good here. This display is VESA compatible. So you could actually mount it if you wanted to, but I used the included adjustable stand and screwed it in. It's honestly great. It doesn't slide around and it has such a strong grip on my desk. I can just keep readjusting it and not have to worry about it slipping at all. Pretty good stuff pretty happy there. The stylus is a special one. We've actually got uh, the Pentec 3.0 stylus that offers 60 degrees of tilt, 8192 levels of pressure, and it's completely battery free. And it's comfortable and lightweight to use and sits neatly on its pedestal. The nibs on this one seem to be much more resistant than before as well, which is a very welcome addition. I did burn through quite a few of them with the original Canvas 13, so it is pretty nice to see that these will definitely last me a lot longer. And now, one of the most important features of this drawing monitor is the display itself, obviously. Here you're getting a 24 inch, 2560 by 1440 resolution display and with a 120% sRGB color gamut, capable of displaying 16.7 million colors and a 178 degrees of viewing angles. That is pretty cool. And not to mention that this is going to be a smooth display to the touch and and still keeps reflections off of it for the most part. If this doesn't scream high end to you, then I don't know exactly what would because this display is absolutely gorgeous and then doing just about anything on it is an absolute joy. We will get to that and to its functionality very soon. And not to mention that you actually get a ton of flexibility for connecting this display to just about any computer. You've actually got a VGA port, an HDMI port, and even a display port along with the USB-A port along the back. That display port is very valuable for a lot of people, though you do still have a lot of options here, and that is why I, I brought this up in the first place. But before we go ahead and test this with different software and tasks, I would like to talk about its customization features. You can remap all 20 buttons using Huion's own suite, and they can become macro buttons if you would like them to be. Like combinations of different buttons to launch different tasks, and even to launch all sorts of different programs if you wanted to. And you likely won't make use of all of these buttons, but it caters nicely to both right-handed and left-handed people, which is quite nice as it's uniform on both sides. Now, so you're going to get 10 buttons on both sides and then one slider on each. And the sliders can be customized for zooming in, and out and scrolling up and down and things of the like. It's very awesome. And I've never seen this much customization in just one device of this caliber. It's rather impressive. 
Now we're going to test out what it's like to use this display with different software like Sketchbook Pro and Photoshop and Clip Studio Pro and even DaVinci Resolve Studio for color grading. That is going to be a very interesting test, I think. The performance in Sketchbook Pro, for starters, is incredibly smooth. Because of how large this display is, there is a ton of room for me to actually have all of my necessary tool sets and features available to me comfortably on just one screen, uh, which is something that I'm not used to having, and it's very nice to actually see. Uh, but drawing on that in general is incredibly nice, and because of the screen, real estate in particular. And thanks to that higher resolution screen, and zooming in means that you hardly lose out on any of that sharpness from before, letting you see a lot more accurate depictions of your drawings when you're zooming in, hence allowing you to remain precise with your line work even if you're going all the way in if you need to, from my experience. And the same can be said for shading, obviously, as the precision is very, very nice here. I love using Sbook Pro and this monitor in tandem. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to performance in Photoshop, which is also going to be a total joy. If you're going to be editing photos, for example, with this display and the use of the Stylus 2, for example, uh, to eliminate blemishes and just to uh, just to do any kind of retouchings that require a high resolution screen and the precision and that a mouse can't give you, then this display and its stylus have you completely covered. I'm confident going over any images with it. For drawing in Photoshop in particular, it's also very nice. Again, unlike things like the screen size and the overall resolution allow for so much to actually fit in just one display comfortably. I really love that. And just like in Sketchbook Pro, now the pen's pressure and sensitivity levels work very well, which allows for a ton of control from creating very thin lines to super thick fillers. And not to mention that the side buttons add a lot in terms of reachability for shortcuts. And a lot of what I mentioned with both Photoshop and Sketchbook Pro will, will apply to Clip Studio Pro as well, so there isn't really too much more to add here. However, making animations and keeping track of the timeline here makes the experience a little more special as an animator. This program offers a lot more fine tuning and brush customization than a lot of other animation software. And when paired with this display, it is just a recipe for an animator's dream. I love creating animations on this thing. I'm still learning it, but, uh, but I will be getting the hang of it soon. And I think that this is the best display for doing exactly that. Because of this screen's color accuracy, I was very interested in seeing how well it could serve as a display for video editing and doing color work on it with this type of software. And because I believe that this monitor can definitely be your, your only all-purpose monitor if you need it to be, so if you only need one monitor. But luckily for color accurate work like this, it does absolute wonders. I'm very comfortable messing around with LUTs and the color wheel and the like since I know that I'm getting accurate results from this display. Just editing in the timeline also it's a great experience, thanks to all the room and that you get within it. I used this to edit an entire 4K video, and I was incredibly happy to see so much of that detail and the vibrance from and the color work that I actually did on it earlier. So I'm honestly extremely happy that it worked out so well. And I would even use this as my primary monitor, to be completely honest. And as awesome as this display is, and I really do love it, there are some things I could definitely still improve to make it an even better experience. Number one, now the programmable buttons are a little bit tinny and that I wish that you got a bit better feedback when you press down on them. Now these might feel a little bit cheap and the same can be said about the touch bar slider which feels a little bit plasticky and doesn't offer any kind of tactile feedback either. I would love to see maybe a vibration mortar of sorts that moves along with your finger when you're using it. Since they went as far as to include a VGA and HDMI cable, for instance, I would have loved to see a DisplayPort cable also be included in this package. And also, while I understand that you can remap one of the buttons on the stylus that toggle the eraser, I've personally always been a fan of having an eraser tip, so that would be a very welcome addition with any future stylus upgrades. Whew, and that marks the end of this review. I had a ton of fun working on this video, and because I just getting to play around with a device that is this intuitive and, and a genuinely powerful tool for true professionals, 
is always a pleasure. And this display is obviously an investment, but the $900 price tag is very well justified here since there are hardly any compromises holding it back. However, if you're just starting to create art, then maybe look at their Canvas 13 series instead. I made a video on our newest one, links to that below. But if you're ready to take it to the next level as a professional, just to really improve on those skills with, with the greater handset of accessibility features, then this is definitely an investment worth your money. Strongly recommend it. And if you're interested in purchasing this, then I will be making sure to leave affiliate links to both Amazon and Luster, as they can actually guide you through finding any kind of different alternatives and even sales on this particular product if they have it available within. So I would definitely urge you to try those out. And if you use any of my links to make a purchase, I do get a small commission that does help me run things just a little bit more smoothly. So if you were to use those, I would appreciate that. And if you wanted to stop by my Twitch to ask me a couple of questions, then I would be more than happy to have you there. You can also follow me on both Twitter and Instagram if you would like to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in regards to the Tech Summit endeavors. But with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and I will be seeing you all later. Enjoy.